Welcome to this system group training video. This video will show apprentices how to use the AppTem learning platform after they have enrolled. We'll cover how to log on and reset your password, the learning plan layout, how to submit work and get feedback from your coach, reviews, your online dashboard, how to message your coach in the system, how to get access to your documents, and some useful information and other help that you can find on the information hub. So let's get started. First of all, open your browser and enter systemgroup.aptem.co.uk and then enter the user ID that you used in enrollment, which normally would be your email address. So type that in and click next. And if you can't remember your password, there's a forgot password link here and it'll send you an email giving you instructions how to reset your password. So let's type in my password. And then Aptem takes you to your dashboard. Let's look top right where your initials are. If I click on that button top right, you'll see here's the option to log out and also your settings. So let's click settings. Firstly, down in security settings, this is where you can change your password. Then signature, you can change your signature. About you is where you can look at and change some of your personal details like your mobile number. Then notifications, this is where you tell Aptem to send you an email when you have unread messages or notifications. If I move my mouse to the left-hand side of the screen, a blue menu will pop out and you can see there's an option to go back to your dashboard or your learning plan. So let's look at the learning plan. Your learning plan lists all the activities that your coach is going to take you through, including the work that you'll be submitting throughout your program and other events like reviews and so on. They're normally grouped into months. So we can see here that we've got October. If I scroll down, we've got November, December, and so on. If I want to, I can hide the month by clicking that little up arrow. That just collapses it. Click it again to open it up. You can, if you want to use the collapse all and expand all buttons to do something similar. So on the screen now we have the first day of learning activity, which you would have done as part of enrollment. Then we've got a welcome activity, which is some e-learning material that explains the details of your specific program. Here we've got a review, which will be a review that your coach will take you through in the first part of your apprenticeship. And then here we have a, another digital learning activity, and this will include a variety of material that you'll be looking at workshops and studying in that first month. And then there may be some uh, work you need to submit as part of that workshop. And then we need to record your attendance at that workshop and to record the off the job hours that were accrued in that workshop. And then there may be some work that you need to do in that period. Uh, for instance, here we've got to um, do something to do with the structure of the industry. And these activities, when you have to submit something, they're normally named evidence of mission or assignment. There are two here in October. And then towards the end of this period, this particular month, there's a learner reflection form that you will give us your feedback and what you've learned and what you can apply in your workplace, what you've learned on your program, and also from your functional skills. Let's scroll back up. On the right hand side, you can see the status of the activity. So for example, completed, not started, or evidence required. Also in the middle, there's the date that that activity is scheduled for. Now those dates may change in your program based on your availability or your coach's availability. When the overdue activities are those activities 
that have passed their date and they're not yet completed. Let's have a look at one of these digital learning activities. If I select it with the left click of my mouse, a panel opens up on the right and I've got some instructions. Then also down in the bottom right hand corner, there's a start learning button. So I'll click that. And then the e-learning material is displayed. Let's click, let's go. And then in the middle of the screen, you've got a variety of learning material and scroll down. In this case, we have a video. And then normally there's a red button that tells you what to do next. It's overview material. And that this material might include videos, audio, presentations, slides, quizzes, and other activities for you to do. On the left hand side, you can see it's the contents of this activity. So you get red ticks as you progress through. And I'll quickly go through this one. You can see there's a document you can download. next steps here and I'm just going to exit this course for the moment and then again click on the X top right go back to the learning plan you can see that's now completed your coach will ask you to do assignments and submit work so let's have a look at that so if I go down to the screen and left click on this one, so it tells us the name of the activity and what you have to do. In this case, we have to upload a file. But before I do that, you can see that there's a criteria tab. If I click on that and scroll down and expand these little arrows, it shows me which knowledge, skills and behaviours this particular activity is designed to assess. So it's always useful having a look at those beforehand so you know what this activity is aiming to achieve and what you should be learning. OK, to upload your file, your piece of work, click Upload File. Select the type of evidence, which is normally Other. The date, the date that you're submitting it. This piece of work does count towards off the job hours. And let's say you spent um, two hours on this piece of work. And then it is in your work time. So select one of those options and then click on select file. And then navigate to wherever on your machine where that piece of work is. So I'm just going to select this file and the system uploads it and then you click save. Don't forget to click save. Now the status of the activity has changed to evidence submitted. You can see that on both places. You can't change that file now until your coach marks it. Okay. Let's assume time has passed and the coach has marked that piece of work. As the coach has marked it, it now says completed, which is great. You also know it's completed because in the top right hand corner, you can see there's a bell with a red flashing number. That means there's a notification for you. If I click on that, there's a message there saying that the coach has approved your evidence and they left a message saying, well done. If your work hadn't quite met all the objectives, the coach would still mark it and you would still get a notification, but you would get a message telling you what you need to do and you would then need to resubmit the work. Now let's move on and look at reviews. Your learning plan comprises several reviews. For example, there's the first review that you'll have with your coach called Introduction to Learning. Then each 10 to 12 week period, you'll have a progress review with your coach. So if I scroll down, should be able to find it. There you are, there's your first progress review. 
the date is the date suggested, but obviously your coach will have to uh, discuss with you to arrange the right time, and so that date may change. Let's scroll back up to the top, and we're going to have a look at the introduction to learning review. Your coach needs to start the review, and they'll share their screen and take you through each of the steps. So this is what a review will look like. It comprises various sections and your coach will take you through each section. So for instance, there's normally an introduction section. So open that up. So it gives some guide information to you and your coach. There may be sections that there are questions that you have to answer or discussions that you need to have with your coach. And you can see this one is, has the learner completed the activities from the first day of learning? I've clicked yes and they'll save that section and they'll go through each section in turn for instance current role they'll make sure they've got your job title right and describe your role going through each section in turn including recapping the skills radar the levels that you set during the enrollment and once they've completed all the sections they'll then click finish and save the document so let's see what that looks like. Clicking finish. Then Aptem takes all that information and is creating a document with all the information in. Just scroll through it. There's a lot there. Then at the end, there's our familiar sort of signing box. So click here to sign. So I've signed that as the coach and now I'll save it. And Aptem will produce a PDF that the coach can see and that's saved in your documents section as well. So if you jump back to the learner's screen, so I'm logged on as the learner now. And if we look at our notifications in the top right, we've got a new notification pulsating red. Click that and you can see that a signature is required for that review that we just completed. So whenever you see one of these, you should promptly sign. So I'll click the link and it takes me to my document section and it shows me that, yes, there's a review for me to sign. I click on it. I can scroll down just like the coach did. And you can click there to sign and save it again. And this will save a PDF version of that document in your document section. So if I go back to my Aptem tab, we're in our document section here, which you can go to by going to your blue menu and clicking on the left. And you can see there's a review section. I can click on that. And there's the PDF of the review that we just signed. So if you ever want to go back and have a look at it, you can go and click on that link. There are some other useful things in this document section. For instance, compliance documents, I click on that. That will show you the documents that uh, you signed during enrollment. For instance, the training plan document, there's a link there, and the apprenticeship agreement, and so on. If there are later versions of those documents, they'll be listed here as well. So each signed document, each version of it is kept, and you can go back to previous versions if need be. Okay, there's just a few more topics that I'd like to show you today. If I go back to the blue menu on the left and click dashboard. You can see your dashboard. It lists your program and your coach. And actually, if you want to message your coach, there's a message button here. If I click that, you can see that there's a message box and I can send a message to my coach, test message, and then you click send. And your coach can reply to you in the same way. So you'll get a reply underneath your message, a bit like texting or WhatsApp. Let's go back to my dashboard. So we've got the name of the coach. Under progress, we have the qualifications that you're signed up for. 
So that includes your functional skills, maths or English, plus the qualification for your programme. So in this case, this learner is on the large goods vehicle. Um, also, there is the requires attention panel. So in addition to notifications that you'll get when uh, your coach has marked your work, you'll get notifications here. You get a summary of your off the job hours that your the hours that you've spent and the target each month. Also, so other targets. So I go back to the blue menu again. We have messages here on the blue menu, and that's just the same messages window that you'll see if you select messages from the dashboard. If I go back to the blue menu again, documents, we saw that a little bit earlier when we were looking at reviews. If I go down further to the information hub, if I click here, you'll see a variety of documents and information that should help you throughout your program. So if I scroll down, one of the most useful documents is the learner handbook. You can click on it here. And then the handbook will be displayed. There are a variety of documents on the information hub and your coach will refer to you as you need them. Go back to my dashboard. I hope that's helped you understand how to use your learning plan and how to use Aptem. If you need any more help, you can always speak to your coach or your learning experience officer. Good luck.